And I want to share with you the Curly Method Deco Mesh Wreath that I recently shared with you on Instagram for the fall and also for Christmas. And so to get started for this project, you will need a wreath form. I'll make sure I'll link one below, but I picked mine up from Carolina Pottery. You can also pick up some Deco Mesh from Michaels, but this mesh is from Dollar Tree, which is shorter than the mesh from Michaels or another craft store. Also some ribbon of your choice if you, if you would like to use that some scissors, some burlap. This came from the fall wreath. I'm just reusing it. Some pliers or wire cutters. Also some wire, floor wire. You can also use a sign. You can use it with or without. So it's up to you if you would like to use one. And this reform, I found it in my Christmas stuff. It's from Dollar Tree. So you can use this to make your project as well also pick them up at a craft store like Michael's or Joann's but I also picked this up in the craft section at Walmart it was $2.47 I believe and I'm going to show you in one second how you can also do the same method on these type of reforms if you don't have like a old time pottery or Carolina pottery in your area I think they're only in North Carolina and South Carolina and you will need some Chanel some of these Chanel pipe cleaner things if you're going to use this reform. Now, if you're going to use this reform, it is going to take a little bit more time. So that's why I just chose to use the reform that I already have. So to get started, you're going to take both of your rolls. You can use any color choice you want. And all they had was only one red. So I'm mainly going to use more so of the green on the outside and the red on the inside and I'm just rolling about um, I would say about six inches but you want it to curl over make a complete curl and a little bit more excess over and you might want to go ahead and do this so it'd be faster instead of stop going stop going Separate your two rows of mesh here and you're going to make like a roll and you're going to meet them in the middle and it doesn't matter which side it just depends on what type of pattern you want or you really don't have to go for a pattern and you're going to take one of your twist ties and you're just going to twist it around it now it's up to you if you want to make a complete you see where I'm showing the tip is still up right here so it's up to you if you want to go ahead and make that a complete tie but I leave mine open so I want to add ribbon later or if I want to go back and add an ornament or any kind of decor piece for fall I use pumpkins so on the deco mesh wreath on this wreath you have two twist ties that are really close together and you're just going to take one of those and tie it around. Now where I'm showing here, I'm using one of the pipe cleaners. And you want to, I found that hot gluing, just a little bit of hot glue, kept the twist tie or the pipe cleaner in place. You're going to do the same thing. And then you're going to meet it in the middle and you're just going to take that pipe cleaner and you can twist it here. You can do the same with the deco mesh reform or you can wrap it around one time and you're gonna go all the way around your wreath. I want to mention that it's best to get a green hunter green like Christmas color 
wreath. They come in all different types of colors if you have a Carolina pottery near you. Um, at the time, all they had was white, so I had no other choice to use white, and I need to go back and get a green one because these you can use these over and over again as long as you don't have glue and you can't get it apart. But most of the time, I can use them over and over again. So now I'm going to go back in with the burlap that I had from Dollar Tree. And I was going, because of the sign was more of a rustic like, I thought I would add that in. And also, one of my friends here on YouTube, she mentioned to use rotary cutter scissors, I believe. And I have to remember to get me some since at Michael's. And they help cut your mesh so much better so you won't have so many frayed ends. And where here you see me cutting all these frayed ends because this furlough has been around the block <laughs> on the door. And, um, but yeah, if you pick up some of those rotary scissors, she said that it works wonders and it won't dull your scissors because my scissors, my gold ones are really dull. So you're just going to keep going around the wreath until you're done. Also, as I'm adding the burlap, you notice that I'm using that tie, the tip, very tip of the white reform that I'm using that I didn't twist all the way down. So that will be helpful to add in your ribbon or anything else that you want to add in. But if you do twist it all the way down, you don't be afraid to open it back up and just twist it all down together. Now what I'm doing here, because of my wreath is white, I'm kind of pushing down the white part of the wreath so it won't stand out so much. And now I'm going to add this sign from Dollar Tree. I thought it was so cute. Looks like faux wood. Well, looks like wood, but it's just a picture. And you can use the string that comes with it, but I wanted to make sure that it was sturdy while it was on my door. So I'm going to use these pipe cleaners and I'm going to just stick it through the hole and I wanted to make sure before I cut that twine off of the sign and make sure that this is going to work. And I'm just going to feed that through and then I'm going to place that on my wreath. sign is fairly large I'm going to just going to take the inner part and just push it out normally I really don't I think with the pumpkin for the fall that one was smaller so I didn't have to do that but either way I just wanted to make sure my curls didn't get missing in the process and so I'm just going to place this on here and then the bottom inner part of the wreath I'm just going to loop that pipe cleaner through and then twist it and when you do that you want to make sure you don't do it too tight which I can be heavy handed sometimes and it was too tight and then it was sticking out kind of like it is now it was sticking out at the bottom of the wreath and I want it to be flush and not sticking out so I had to loosen it some and you're just going to twist it and you probably can tuck the pipe cleaners down but I just took some wire cutters and just cut it off
got my ribbon. And I actually picked this ribbon up last year, so I don't know if they have it anymore at Dollar Tree. It's burlap, and they have the holly and the Christmas trees with the snowflakes. And I think it says Merry Christmas. I'm not sure. But I should have picked up more because I really like this ribbon. So I'm going to alternate, and I'm going to get, I'm going to use two of them. And then I'm just going to squeeze them at the middle. And sometimes when I'm doing this, I'm trying to debate how am I going to cut the tips of them? Am I going to do it? I don't know the traditional way. I don't even know what it's called or the arrow with the point. And when you do it, you're just going to fan it out and fluff a little bit. And now I'm going to use a different ribbon and alternate to give it some variety. And let me know, guys, I have not seen anyone create their bows the way that I make my bows so let me know in the comments if you want to know how to make bows because I do have to make a bow for the top of my tree so just let me know and I can record that and so here sorry I'm out of frame I'm just folding it in half and cutting it downward which makes a point so I really did a lot of variety in this where I have the little two traditional way bows and then I have the arrows. And don't be afraid if you don't like that spot to take it out and try it again. The one thing about these mesh reefs, you can't really mess them up. So we're gonna go around the reef and you put as little or as much. And right now I'm just gonna use four ornaments Make sure you want to place them where you want to place them because once I place these, I kind of wanted them off centered. I put it too much in the center. And once you hot glue anything down to deco mesh, it's not coming off. Or you have to try it all over again. And it glues really fast. enjoyed this video I also have a centerpiece that I created two years ago kind of yeah with the same method it's just a centerpiece I will make sure I will link that below so you can watch that and thanks so much for watching as always and I've made this for my mama and she liked it she liked it so I'm, I'm glad about that so guys thanks again hope you all have a Merry Christmas great start to your holiday and see you in the next video Bye-bye.